Today we're going to talk about functional testing for Salesforce using Parasoft. Uh, before we get started, let's understand some of the key philosophies and strategies behind test automation and functional testing. This chart was first defined in 1996 by Caper Jones, and it's still relevant today. Most software defects are introduced during the coding phase of development, but most defects are found during the later stages, where it costs much more and is more risky to fix. We want to find and remove defects as early as possible. So what we focus on doing is shifting left the identification of those defects earlier in the SDLC by one, leveraging earlier stage quality practices, such as deep code analysis, and taking tests that are created during the later stages like functional and performance tests and executing them continuously as new capabilities are added to the application, essentially doing regression testing continuously. In order to achieve that, we adhere to what's called the testing pyramid. The testing pyramid allows us to build a effective and efficient scalable test automation strategy. At the base of the pyramid is a foundation of unit tests backed by a solid set of API tests. These tests are more efficient, so you can have more of them. These tests are also created earlier in the software development process. They're easier to automate and easier to understand, which makes it easier to diagnose when you have an actual defect and understand the root cause of problem or regression. Typically, you want to minimize the amount of UI tests and manual tests that you do, but you can't completely eliminate them. UI tests are typically more brittle in nature and therefore are a little harder to maintain. Additionally, when a UI test fails, you don't necessarily know whether or not that failure is due to some element in the UI or some API regression or maybe something deeper in the code. Similarly, with manual tests, they take more time to execute. However, they are easier to define. So the goal is to minimize the amount of manual testing and UI testing in order to build a scalable test strategy. When looking specifically at Salesforce applications, there are some common challenges that enterprises go through when adopting Salesforce. At a high level, Salesforce has a unique legacy architecture, which means it doesn't follow the traditional modern approach to building web applications. Rather than having a front-end layer, a service layer, and a back-end layer, what you end up is with various different services and a complex front end layer with additional services hidden in that front end. So you don't typically see those REST SOAP calls that you typically would see in a traditional web application. Instead, you see more hidden and undocumented API calls that aren't available to the test team. Additionally, there's complex authentication mechanisms that aren't easy to automate when doing API testing. UI testing is challenging as well because pages are dynamic which means that every single time you refresh that page, all of your element locators get dynamically refreshed and they have IDs associated with them which are not consistent with every single iteration of that page. It may look the same, but the underlying code changes every single time. Additionally, there's hidden elements, elements hidden within the hidden elements, and Salesforce Lightning has been wreaking havoc on the test automation industry with inconsistent waiting and loading times. To top things off, Salesforce uses Apex, which is a proprietary unit testing framework based on Java, not something you typically see in other applications. All of this tends to lead to a rather upside down testing pyramid as it's difficult to identify APIs and difficult to automate API tests. Typically what you're left with is a broad set of requirements that were used in development, which you can then leverage to execute manual test cases. Uh, you can also use those to create and write UI tests. However, API tests are much more difficult to automate. Using Apex language, you may be able to create a good foundation of unit tests. However, you're still leaving the API layer exposed and building a more bloated test automation strategy, which is dependent on manual test execution as well as UI test execution. Knowing all of this, Salesforce becomes very challenging to test and test continuously. But Parasoft has solutions. And now I'm going to turn it over to my colleague. Take it away. Thank you. So let's talk about how Parasoft can reduce the complexity of testing a Salesforce architecture. And so to do that, I'm actually going to start in our friend Salesforce. So let me go ahead and load this up. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating our solutions on Salesforce Lightning, which is the most recent version of Salesforce. And what I want to do is I want to create a comprehensive set of UI tests and those coveted API tests that my colleague was talking about. Parasoft makes this easy by providing a recorder that you can use in your browser so that you can take those manual tests that are associated with the requirements that development is building, and from that, record UI actions 
for Parasoft Selenic, which will build pure Selenium tests, as well as capturing that API traffic that takes place between the front end uh, UI and the front end API services. You can grab those at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and start recording, and then I'm gonna go through a use case. So let me start by logging in. I'll use a generic account. And the use case that I'm going to be performing today is to create and delete a contact in Salesforce. So I'll start by clicking on the contacts button. Create a new contact. And then I'm gonna fill in the necessary information. So here we'll go ahead and call this uh, demo three. Enter in the required information, email. And then I think the last thing I need is a lead source. So I'll go ahead and choose discover.org and hit save. All right, my contact was created. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up after myself so this test becomes reusable. I'll go ahead and delete that contact. And then I'll go ahead and log out. Okay, that is my test scenario. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off recording and go through a two-step process to create the UI tests and API tests. So let's start with the UI tests. So here in this dialog, I can give the test a name. We'll call this Salesforce Contacts. I could give it a description and I can associate it with a requirement in my requirements management system. I'm using JIRA, so I'll use this notation. Now I'm gonna download that recording. Now this is an artifact that I could then use later uh, to create my UI test. But I really wanna get at those API tests. And this is a really powerful part of this workflow. I created the UI tests and the API tests simultaneously. That means these API tests that are created will be aligned to that particular user story and to the journey that I took in the UI. And it'll make it easier for me as a user to understand how those APIs work. So let's go ahead and create that test asset. What's happening right now is that the AI is thinking. It's looking at the traffic that took place between the front end uh, and those front end services, and it's building me an API test. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into SOA test. So this is SOA test. It is an API testing tool uh, designed to simplify the process of creating API tests, database tests, test against microservices, uh, and these, these types of tests against Salesforce. So here's the, here's the test that I just created. I'll go ahead and open this up and look at all these APIs. So all of these calls were made in that process of creating that new contact. And so there's, there's a lot going on. Now, part of the AI uh, that makes this process easier is when we identify that we're working in a Salesforce application, Parasoft uh, creates relationships between the different test steps. Let me show you what that means. I'm gonna go ahead and expand all these test steps. Notice that I have things called smart data banks. I have things called extract aura token, JSON data banks. Basically what that means is that each of these calls needs to be connected to each other. They need to transfer data. And Parasoft is aware of what data needs to be transferred in a Salesforce application. The bottom line is it makes it much easier to create a test that's going to work and is going to be easy to manage. Now, remember how my colleague mentioned the complex authentication workflows? These first eight tests, are all about that authentication mechanism. And you'll see that Parasoft has created those and put them into the right shape. Now, because of a nuance in Salesforce, it, I actually don't need this particular test step. So I'll just go ahead and disable that. And now what I'm gonna do is execute the test. But to show that we really are communicating with Salesforce, I'm gonna watch the UI and see how the APIs actually create that contact and then delete that contact. So let me go ahead and just log in. I'll then uh, go over to my contacts pane. Okay, I have two contacts. 
And now what I'm gonna do is just move that off to the side and execute my test case. Okay, now the APIs are firing off. I'm gonna go ahead and start refreshing Salesforce. And any moment, we should see a third uh, contact show up. There's our third contact. I'll go ahead and keep refreshing and then we'll see that third contact disappear. Great. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and close off the UI, come back through here. I see that all of my test cases were successful. I have now achieved great API test coverage against that particular use case. And by using Parasoft's Smart API Test Generator and its underlying AI, I've created a much easier process for onboarding. But to scale that across the organization, we also have a machine learning component that allows you to make modifications to test cases. Potentially you wanna change the authentication. Maybe you wanna change something about an assertion. And then from that, you can then train the underlying AI model, any new rules that have occurred in, uh, as this user has been interacting with this a API, and then make it much easier for anybody else in the organization to use that API going forward. The more you use it, the smarter it gets. So what did we just do? So we were able to rapidly create a test against the Salesforce application. The challenge was that we have this application and this application is connecting with a whole bunch of internal, external uh, and third-party APIs in Salesforce. When it comes time to actually interacting directly with those APIs, it's like trying to put together a puzzle that doesn't have any uh, images on it. It's really difficult. How do, you, how do you test that? And so the smart API test generator and the modifications we've made for Salesforce makes it much easier to understand how tests and APIs interact in a Salesforce environment. And by simply interacting with that application, you can create rich, scalable, and meaningful API tests. But what about those UI tests? You see, at the same time that we tested this Salesforce application and recorded those, those API tests, we also recorded UI tests. These UI tests can now be used to create pure Selenium Java tests. So let's go ahead and go through that workflow. So here I am inside of Eclipse. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new Selenium project. We'll call this Salesforce Contacts. I'm gonna go and grab that uh, Salesforce Contacts file, give it some information to create a, a class and a, and a package. And we'll call this Contacts Test hit finish, and now we can see that Parasoft has created a Selenium test for me. And it even has my requirement embedded right here. The great thing about this test is that it's using the page object model. The page object model is an industry best practice that creates each page for your application as an object. And then there are reusable locators in that page. What this means is that if you ever need to change a page, you change it in one spot and it propagates to the rest of the test and it makes it much, much more maintainable. Now, there are some things that we need to do to make Salesforce tests work. And so I've made some slight modifications to this scenario here. Things like adding, starting it in incognito mode, disabling geolocation. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute this test. I'm gonna execute it using Parasoft Selenic. And so this is now going to execute that same scenario from the UI layer of my application. And this is a really great thing because now I've created a whole raft of API tests against my Salesforce application. And I have a subset of UI tests against the application. If I run both of these testing types together, it helps me focus on where an issue may be in my application. So for example, if my UI tests were to fail and my API tests were to fail, I would know that that's somewhere in my UI. If the UI tests were to succeed and the API tests were to fail, then I know I need to look at those front-end APIs and it helps reducing the debugging and diagnosing. Parasoft Selenic makes tests that are maintainable because in addition to creating the UI test in the best possible way, we also monitor the test execution. And if any test were to ever fail due to a bad locator or a wait condition, 
we can apply recommendations as well as self-healing. But you can check that out in other uh, YouTube videos available at Parasoft's YouTube channel. Suffice to say, at this point, I've created API tests and now I've created UI tests. Those tests at runtime can then watch the execution and provide those recommendations back to me about how to fix my tests, change the wait conditions, as well as supplying the information from both my UI and API tests to Parasoft's analytics engine to synchronize with the system of record so that you can get bi-directional traceability with your requirements. When it comes to Salesforce testing, all functional testing tools should have the following capability, but most of them don't. And it makes it really challenging when it comes to testing uh, a complex system like Salesforce. With Parasoft, we check all the boxes and make it easy to create scalable API tests and UI tests against your Salesforce applications.